morning, everyone. Just getting my workout sweat on. Um, it's Thursday, the uh, 12th of October. Um, just finished my workout. I'm on cool down right now. Uh, it was pretty light today, I think for about 45 minutes. Got to get my morning going. I've got a fitting today for one of my clients. Um, not much else going on other than, of course, creating content for you guys. Just want to log in real quick, check in with you guys, um, talk about a little bit about some news. Um, yesterday and the day before, it broke that Harvey Weinstein um, has several rape allegations. And a lot of stories are coming out, or coming to light, I should say, about his past transition, transgressions against um, females that he either employs or works closely with. The outrage is rightful. Um, the allegations seem to be backed up by a lot of um, evidence and just just things that were between the lines. You know, the jokes in Hollywood skits uh, or people portraying him in certain shows as a sleazy character. What I really brought up was because there are people from the right, um, AKA Trump goonies, AKA Trump supporters, who are using this to kind of push their agenda that the left is a full of sickos. Meanwhile, they um, talk about Trump's transgressions and um, his allegations as if they are complete lies, fabrications. Uh, they're referred to as uh, locker room talk or just jokes. Well, a lot of the evidence against Harvey Weinstein that they're happily sharing on the timelines come off as just jokes or locker room talk. What happened to the people or the women who accused Trump of sexual assault? Uh, why aren't um, the defenders of Harvey Weinstein's victims defending Trump's victims? We need to call them out on that. The double standards need to stop. The hypocrisy needs to stop. If you're going to call out Harvey Weinstein, call out everyone. I'm talking about from your uncle, your brother, um, your sons, um, because like a lot of people have been pointing out and making me see, women aren't just mothers, daughters. You know, that's not the only thing that validates them. They're people. So we need to start holding our friends and family members and people we supposedly look up to accountable. We need to hold them the same standard as we hold the people that we don't see eye to eye with, all right? Because we all need to see eye to eye on that. Sexual harassment is not okay. That's it for now, guys. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. In the apartment now. Um, about to take a shower. I got a routine. It's um, uh, It varies day to day. Um, it's mostly for my hair. It's mostly a hair routine. I kind of have a facial routine, but um, it doesn't vary quite as often as my um, hair routine does. Today, I won't be washing my hair. Um, I'll be rinsing it and then putting in some conditioner. Um, I only wash my hair about three times a week. Um, for some, it might be more. For some, it might, it might be less. Um, I might go down to two times a week because, you know, when you're washing your hair, you're rinsing out and uh, getting rid of um, natural essential oils from your hair. And, um, you know, what's the point of rinsing them out just to try to put more back in? So you want to keep some of that in there. So, you know, you want to try to minimize the amount of times that you, um, you wash your hair. So anyway, um, I'm just about to get ready to shower, do my routine. I'll be doing a routine video eventually. Um, won't be part of this, but, uh, you know, talking about some of the products I use and whatnot and how often I use them. Um, but that's it. Talk to you guys after I get out. Cheers. I love coming out of the shower and seeing her car up like this. Almost as if she's waiting for a cuddle. Isn't she the cutest? Welcome back, guys. I'm just trying to book some bus tickets from Boston to New York because my really good friend Lori from London is in New York. So I'm going to um, go there tomorrow, Friday, and come back Saturday. Usually Wanderoo is the um, go-to because it kind of... Um, combines all of the bus and train routes into one site and it'll give you like a, a map not a map but a calendar to show you oh it'll be cheaper if you leave a day early I'm going to also book my return trip because the prices will go up wander is pretty easy uh if you want i can do a tutorial video tutorial of me using it 
And then after this, all I gotta do is book a stay. I'm probably gonna use um, either Airbnb or, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm definitely gonna use either Airbnb or book a hotel through Chase using points. Uh, total, this is gonna cost me 40 bucks per round trip. And we'll see how I do with booking stay. I had to cut my morning short. Got a call from the client. Um, we've been trying to reach um, my agent that they wanted me to come in early. So I had to walk the dogs real quick. And now I'm headed out the door to um, head to my fitting, which was moved up from 1 o'clock to basically as soon as possible. All right, so now guys, um, about to walk in. Um, it's about 11.11. Make a wish. Um, told them it would take about an hour. I think it took me about an hour and 15, hour and 20 to get here. But, um, yeah. So, about to head in. See you guys later. That's a wrap, folks. Um, just finished up my fitting. I got to run uh, a quick errand. Got to um, deposit money at the bank. And then um, pick up Danielle. She's meeting a friend for a drink um, to catch up. And uh, that's about it. When I get home, gotta walk the dogs and then gotta do some packing. Uh, like I said, I'm going to New York tomorrow. I did end up booking my hotel. Um, I booked it through Chase. Um, I forget, it was something like um, 16,000 points and 60 bucks. So all told, so far the trip has cost me 100 bucks uh, for hotel stay and um, the round trip um, bus tickets. That's all set, that's all booked. I'm excited about that, I'll be back Saturday. For the rest of the day, I'll probably be working on some um, trial bug stuff. All right, I'm home, but just for a little bit, gotta let the dogs out. Um, making something to eat, cause I'm starving. Um, and then hopefully, I don't know, maybe I can get a little rest before I go pick up um, Danielle. But first, let's, um, Let's go get the dogs. They're right behind this door. We keep them locked in the bedroom when we leave because otherwise they bark at anything and everything that they hear on the hallways and you know, we don't want them going off all the time. So I can hear them now. They can hear me, hold on. Hey, poo -poos. Hey. Hey, poo -poos. Uh, You guys are so good. You guys are so good. All right. Have a good day. All right. About to get out of here. Babe's about to drop me off at the um, uh, bus station. We're trying to figure out the wag situation. <laughs> We're struggling. <laughs> because it's the first time uh, one of us will be away and the other one will be at work all day. So we're trying to figure out our wag lockbox uh, and where to leave it. Right now, our building hasn't supplied us with a code uh, key for the front door, so there wouldn't be a way for them to get in. So we're trying to figure out where we can put this outside um, for the WAG people to come walk our poor dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm about to go to the train station. Uh, I, I mean, bus station, as you know, I'm going to New York. So um, I'll check in with you guys uh, around then. All right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so mission accomplished. We we're able to put the uh, wag lock right on the front of our um, the entryway to our building. So we're ready to go. Our dogs will get an awesome walk yes. today. Hopefully they're tired by the time I get home. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, so yeah, if um, the building managers complain about it, you know, we'll just tell them that, hey man, you guys haven't given us a cold yet for, for the door. That's the best we could do. You know, we gotta take care of our dogs. Yeah. So. All right, guys, we're off. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, just arriving at um, South Station bus terminal and uh, here in Boston. And um, my baby's about to drop me off. I'll be back tomorrow um, in New York for a day. All right, baby, thank you for dropping me off. You're, You're the best. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. Have Give the poopers a big hug for me. I will. Mm -hmm. All right, catch you guys later. What's up guys, I'm finally here in Manhattan. Walking towards the train station so I can get down to Wall Street. Take about a 33 minute train ride to um, the Andaz Wall Street Hotel. Um, there I should be meeting up with Lori and um, settling in. And I'm probably going to grab a bite to eat because I'm starving. 
had um, a uh, breakfast sandwich. And that's it. That's about it today. All right. See you guys when uh, I get over to the hotel. So just get into my room, guys. Uh, mini bar is complimentary, except for alcohol. Um, not sure exactly what that consists of. Oh, we got some sodas, some juice, water, um, a couple snacks here, and that's about it. Um, uh, let's start with the bathroom first, I guess. Um, waterfall shower. Uh, it's a pretty big shower. Um, it could definitely fit like three people in there comfortably. Um, and there's the sink area. Let's see what they've got. Uh, soap, face, hand towels, pretty cool sink set up here. There's a scale in here. That's interesting. Toilet, bedroom. Here we are. Bed's a king. Um, seems a little short. Uh, we have a king at home, and it seems a little longer than this one. Um, but no complaints. It's going to be just fine. And, you know, you kind of got a workspace. Again, this is the Andaz on Wall Street. Uh, more info on it if you need. Nice, cute, dainty room. All right, time to settle right. in. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by settling in. <clears throat> now, I'm only here for about less than 24 hours, maybe actually maybe more like 30 hours. Um, it's a short trip, but still, you don't, have to, you don't have to live outside of your bag. What I've done here is I removed anything that was in my duffel and hung it up, especially if I'm gonna be wearing it. I'm gonna be wearing some of this later tonight. I don't think you can see any of that, but um, letting it air out, letting it loosen up. I might have to iron some later, but it'd be better than just pulling it out of a packed bag and just throwing it on. I did the same with my denim down here. I folded them and put them, they're still easily accessible. And my shoes are down here. I tucked my duffel over here. So it's out of the way, I'm not stepping all over it, falling all over it. In the bathroom, I put all my hair care accessories out and my face, uh, and here's my toothbrush. So yeah, make yourself at home. Don't hesitate because it'll just be easier. Um, yes, you're gonna have to pack all this stuff, but it's better than rummaging through everything to find what you need when you need it. Better to be prepared and on the go. Very important, plug in every electronic. Um, start charging immediately. I have my Apple Watch charging. Um, I'm recording my phone, so it's not charging now, but the minute I put this down, it's going back in the charger. I have my Snapchat spectacles charging inside their carrying case. I'm only here for a short time, so I didn't bring the charger for the carrying case, but I did bring the case with a full charge. So we're good to go. Here's my brick, um, my, my juice, basically, my portable juice. It's a portable battery um, charger and I'm charging that right now, okay? My MacBook is fully charged, so it doesn't need to be on the charge, but I have the um, cable plugged in. So like I said, guys, make yourselves at home. Now I can relax, uh, I gotta get my hair done, uh, I gotta like pick it out and style it, and um, Lori should be here within the next 30 minutes, and I'll be ready to go. All right, those are my tips for moving in into your hotel.